Close your eyes and imagine with me. Imagine an empty space. You get to do whatever you want to. There's no furniture, there's nothing in it, and you get to design it yourself. Or what even better yet, let's just say you have a New Year's resolution in the year 2024 to change your interior design style. How would you do it? Where would you start? Now, I know this is kind of scary, but this is a problem that many people are facing in the year 2024. In this video, I'm going to give you the top seven interior design trends for you to transform your space. Now, I will say this. I am the MCM Hunter, and my specialty, so to speak, is mid-century modern furniture. But with all this in mind, I'm going to give you the top seven interior design trends as a whole within the realm of interior design. And also, I'm going to sprinkle in a little bit of mid-century modern flair for my mid-century modern lovers. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go on this journey. It's going to be pretty fun. Design trend number one. Vintage furniture, antique pieces, and heirlooms are here to stay. Now, many of you know that vintage has been popular for some time now, but that doesn't mean it's going away anytime soon. Many experts are playing that the vintage art furniture scene is not new. I mean, this has been going on for some time now, but that does not mean it's going away. They exclaim that a lot of people are taking their time. They're looking and searching for that perfect piece, not only to keep but to pass down to their family. And this is really reassuring. Now for me having that mid-century modern background, this is right up my alley. Now a couple pieces to look for those who are out there, a couple brands to look for. Number one, Bassett, great brand to find that mid-century modern piece or that vintage piece that you love. Second brand, Broyhill. Not only do they have mid-century modern furniture, but they have vintage furniture that looks amazing and you can easily pass that down. If you're interested in looking at a style, look up Broyhill Brazil Brasilia. And the third brand that I love is Harmony House. It's cheap, efficient, and effective, and it gives you that nice antique vintage style that you're looking for. Now, some places to look for these items. One, estate sales. Two, thrift stores. Three, garage sales. That's where you can get a great value. And four, with all, if everything else fails, go to antique stores. I guarantee you can find that heirloom piece that you're looking for. All right, so the second trend that we should be looking out in 2024 is fluting details are a go. Now, for those who don't know what fluting is or, or flutes or flute design, this is basically when you get shallow grooves running along a surface, it could be vertical or horizontal, most of it's vertical, that presents an additional or alternative form and function. And you know what? Instead of me talking to you about it, I'll throw some on the screen. Not only do they give you form and function, but they also give you some texture. And I'll talk to you about texture a little later. I hate to foreshadow, but here we go. Now, House says that they have seen a lot of fluting or fluted details throughout the many conventions and shows going forward. So expect this to be very, very popular in the year 2024. Now, to find some of these pieces, they're pretty much available everywhere. They're starting to pop up more and more. If you don't know where to start, you don't have an idea of what piece you want, just get on the internet and type fluted band vanity or fluted backsplash or, or whatever you want. Trust me, this is something you want to look into. Trend number three in regards to trending interior design ideas in the year 2024, brass accents continue to trend. Now, brass has this unique appeal to it because not only it has is it classic and has a timeless appeal, but it's also very versatile. You can put it with many, many, many different things, and it has a unique versatility about it that can blend well with modern designs as well as classic designs. So brass is going up. Now, something else unique about brass is it has this unique ability to not overpower the main staple in, a, in an interior design. For instance, you can bring in wood, you can bring in marble, you can set that next to brass, and the wood and marble will showcase through while also having this cute and subtle accent of the brass in the background. So like I said, brass is going up. Trend number four that we're expecting to see in the year 2024 in regards to interior design, organic light fixtures are a Go. Now, in regards to organic light fixtures, I'm talking about your rattan, I'm talking about your clay, I'm talking about your wood. Now, a lot of people are 
expecting these to be the trend because not only do they offer a cool texture to your room, but it also offers an ambient soft lighting to any space. Now for my mid-century modern lovers out there, I did not forget about you. In regards to organic light fixtures, look for something similar to the Herman Miller Nelson saucer. That is what you want to look out for or something similar to that. Now, if you're looking at me and say, the MCM Hunter, I don't I have no idea where to buy that. I have a place for you. Please try, type in Design Within Reach. You can find some of these cool light fixtures, organic light fixtures, mid-century modern light fixtures at Design Within Reach. So check it out. Design trend number five that we expect to be popular in the year 2024, saturated colors are back. Now, in regards to saturated, you're asking me, what in the world is saturated colors? And that is basically colors that are bold, crazy, out there. And apparently, it's so we're moving away from the softer tones and going to the more bold tones, which is great, I think. Now, I'm sorry, but I got to talk to my mid-century modern lovers. If you're looking for bold colors, just go to the mid-century modern color palette. I'm telling you, this is it. You got your mustard yellows, your avocado shaped greens, your teals, your warm oranges and reds. It's all there. And those are the saturated colors that will be in in 2024. I'm telling you, you got to go to the mid-century modern color palette. Now, for everyone out there, I, I know I... I I'm kind of biased to my message for modern people, but like I said, we're moving away from more of the neutral tones into the bold, colorful tones that express not only creativity, but it energizes interior design spaces. So saturated, saturated, saturated colors, wow, sorry, are the go. Trend number six, wallpapers in, maybe. Now, for those who are you're asking, hey, wallpaper's been in. I mean, I've seen it on houses. It's it's in, and that may be true. Now, when I'm referring to wallpaper, I'm referring to wallpaper in spaces that you do not expect. Experts believe that wallpaper will be brought back not only in your main spaces, but spaces you would never expect, such as linen closets, walk-in closets, or any type of closet that is not seen when you have people come over. Now, the reasoning for putting wallpaper in closets, it basically brings fun, energetic, interior designs to places that don't normally get that. And who loves that? Who doesn't love that? You bring some fun to those spaces that are known to be not so fun, that's a win-win. Now, for my mid-century modern lovers, if you're looking for wallpaper choices that reflect in regards to mid-century modern, do what? Do this. Get those bold colors that I just talked about it. Those crazy yellows, those warm oranges and reds, even teal. And get those in geometric patterns. You throw that in your closet and boom, you have bold saturated colors in that mid-century modern style and you're ready to go. Now for everyone else. Choose bold colors for your closet and get that wallpaper and throw it up. And trust me, your space, that closet, that linen closet, that whatever closet that no one sees will be extremely fun. And interior design number seven, we're almost at the finale. We might be at the finale, but interior design trend in 2024 that we will see potentially happen. Texture, texture, texture. Now, this may not be anything new. Because you realize interior designers, interior designers use texture to accent walls, to add layers, to add flair, to add continuity, but also bring in together spaces all the time. So what is with texture? What does that have to do with anything in 2024? And yeah, that doesn't make sense, right? And you're right, because texture, according to experts, is something that we can see has elevated the space tenfold. And why stop something that continues to elevate the space, especially in the year 2024? So, but another thing with texture that I've kind of realized and that's what experts are anticipating will happen. Not only will we use texture accent pieces, but we'll put texture on top of texture. This is what they're saying. Now, I'm not sure. It's kind of, it seems kind of, 
you know, counterproductive to me, but this is what experts are predicting will happen. Now for my mid-century modern lovers out there, I'm sorry I'm going back to mid-century modern, but I have to because I want to keep this style of design alive. In regards to texture, do this. Use Raya rugs. That's a great texture piece to put on your floor. Also, use finalized fine art pieces with texture in it. For instance, you can have a texture wall and put a texture art piece on it. There's your texture on texture. Now for my mid-century modern fans, please do me a favor. If you're looking for textured art, look for this individual. His name is Lee Reynolds. His art has tons of texture and it goes amazing. Trust me, if you put that art piece, that will give you that added dimension that you need for your space. And also, if you throw in like a texture wall, for instance, like a plaster wall and that piece on top of it, there's your texture on texture. That's what the craze is. That's what the trend is. And you'll be ahead of the trend. But for everyone else, texture is king. Find places, find spaces, find walls. Like I said, plaster wall has a ton of uh, texture on it. And then add another texture piece behind it. There you go. Texture on texture. There are my potential seven design trends that experts believe will happen in the year 2024. Do I have a crystal ball? And am I saying this will happen? This will happen? No, I do not. But for those looking forward to, to redesigning your space, you're looking for great design ideas. Those are my seven. And I think they will happen. But who knows? But those are seven of the many design trends that experts believe will happen in the year 2024. I feel good about those happening and I feel great about those trends. They're really amazing. And these are some things that I utilize in my space today. For instance, look at these colors. There's your mustard yellows and teals. That's that's beside the point. But also, I want to talk to my mid-century modern lovers out there. If you're interested in mid-century modern furniture and you want to see more videos, check out this playlist right here. I'm the MCM Hunter, and I spent a lot of my time finding mid-century modern furniture. But also, if you're not into mid-century modern love, if you're not into mid-century modern, but you enjoy interior design, I'm going to continue this journey highlighting interior design styles that are potentially that are popular that are trending in 2024. And I hope that this this video right here gave you some value and it gave you some ideas. And if it did, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm on this journey trying to help others reinvent their design style by me utilizing mid-century modern furniture. But that's beside the point. But like always, this exit, this outro is getting long. Peace.